everybody. Is that, a, is that a little sneak peek? What? Can't see that yet. Guys, welcome back to another Shop Talk Tuesday. Now, of course, we're not working on that in this episode, but we are working on this build right here. So this was the knife that we forged in the last Shop Talk Tuesday episode, where we went ahead and just made this out of a Willie's Jeep leaf spring. Little scrap piece that I had sitting back here for a while and I wanted to go ahead and just turn it into a knife. So what we gotta focus on in this particular episode is getting the bevels ground into this. We gotta get the heat treat done. That includes normalizing, tempering, heat treating, the quenching, all that stuff. Plus we gotta get the finish put on here. So the goal for this episode is to get it to the point to where it's ready to accept handle scales because in the next Shop Talk Tuesday episode, we're going to be doing the handle scales where we are attaching them, profiling them, and then putting an edge on this and wrapping this build up. Now, I've got some info on a few things that are going to change with the Shop Talk Tuesday episodes moving forward for just a little bit of time because we've got some, uh, some cool processes that are going to be happening with the shop and all that. So we'll get into that more depth whenever we do the outro for this. But without further ado, let's go ahead and let's jump into the knife making part of this episode. So let's get it. So what we're going to do right off the bat is we're going to break this edge, grind basically to a 45 degree and just grind to the center line. That's going to do two things. It's going to let me define the cutting edge. So as I progress up the height of the bevels that I want to be at, I know not to go any thinner than that on the cutting edge. Also, it's going to break this edge with this particular worn 36 grit belt so that whenever I switch to my incinerator belts I don't end up ripping all the grit off of it breaking that edge. I'd rather sacrifice that on this already sacrificial belt. So let's go ahead get into grinding this do that 45 so that we can then start grinding those bevels up with the other belt. So now that we have that initial bevel ground and I, I went ahead and ground in that swedge up here, we can go ahead and start bringing up our bevels. And we're going to bring them up to about right here. So bring it up. I think I'm going to drop it just a hair path or below this so that whenever I get done heat treating and I grind the rest of the way, it'll go ahead and get up to the height that I want it to be. So we're just going to grind up a little bit, but before we do that, we need to switch belts.
Now we can check the hardness, do a little file test. See that worked. Now we just need to go ahead and temper this. We're going to temper it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. So we're going to pop in the oven and get that part done. So if you're using this style of oven to do your tempering one of the things that you need to make sure you do is let it heat up so as soon as it starts cycling on and off on and off that means it should be up to temp to your 400 degrees that you're trying to get to or whatever temp you want to get to but don't turn it on and instantly put your knife in here because it's ramping up really hot to get it to that temp real fast and it might shoot past it so you just want to get to the point to where it is actually turning on and off like that where it's modulating to maintain that temp inside there. So be mindful of that before you end up putting your blade in there. And one of the things that I should mention real quick, so if you remember, whenever we were grinding the bevels, all the grinding lines are going up and down like this. So we're going to do this whole entire first grit the opposite direction, which is just a nice natural forward and back motion to get rid of all those, those grinding lines. And then we'll start at a different angle on the 320 and then come back this direction with the 500 and that should finish us up. So we're going to be changing directions as we go. So we got our maker's mark on there and the finish that we want. Then we're going to go ahead and etch it and then <laughs> end up sanding it again. Or we'll stone wash it or we'll see what happens. <laughs> now we're going to leave this in here for about six to seven minutes. Pull it out, clean it, put it back in there for about another six to seven minutes. And that's about it. So we're going to go ahead and just check out and see what a, a stone wash finish looks like on this. Give it a little, give it a little shake in the old tumbler. And 
all this is is some little rocks from like aquarium tanks in there some WD-40 and that's about it What I'll do is I'll check and see if the lines are all nice and even. If I have too many lines going one direction or the other, I'll put it back in here and keep shaking it until the lines are where I want them to be. Alright guys, let's go ahead and wrap this Shop Talk Tuesday up here. Now, I absolutely love the way this turned out. You know, I didn't know which finish I was going to go with whenever I started this video. I had no clue. But I like the stonewash finish. I think that that looks absolutely awesome. I think the contrast between the, the texture and the real crisp bevels just looks awesome. It makes the jimping stand out a ton I think that that's an absolute awesome knife now when it comes to the next episode for this particular knife I'm gonna be showing y'all which scales I picked we're going to attach them we're gonna shape them we're gonna put an edge on this and this build will be done now the scales that I'm gonna put on here I think are gonna stand out really well from the actual you know material it's gonna be a really cool burl stabilized and then we're doing some nice pins and all that stuff. I think y'all are going to absolutely love it. So I'm excited about that process. But like I said, in the next episode, we're wrapping this build up. So we're doing all the handle scales, attaching, shaping, and the edge. And we're going to cut some stuff. So be on the lookout for that. Now, moving forward with the Shop Talk Tuesdays, we're not going to be doing a knife build for just a little while. What we're going to be working on is the shop expansion. So, I'm going to be bringing you all along for the actual shop expansion process every single week. I'm going to give you updates. You're going to get videos of what's going on, what's changed, things like that. I've got to start it off by demoing the 11 by 11 which means I'm going to have to reorganize some stuff in the shop here so I can bring some of that stuff inside this shop and figure out what I'm going to do with the anvils and the forge and all that stuff. Uh, it would not be very, you know, smart to bring my forge into the all wood shop but we'll figure out something but I am gonna bring y'all along for the whole entire build process now to give you an idea of what's gonna be happening I've went through like 15 different iterations of this shop expansion what I'm gonna end up doing is making it to where it is just 12 by tw or 12 by 26 so right now I'm in the 12 by 12 when I'm in the forge it's an 11 by 11 which is really cramped to have a forge in so what I'm going to do is we're going to demo the 11 by 11. I'm going to expand the concrete and I'm going to do that myself. So you're going to get to see that process of me working my way through that. I'm not a concrete guy, but I'm going to be. So we're going to expand the concrete and then I'm going to finish out the building, wrap it around, basically a U shape section of wall, tie the roof in together and then open up the wall that is on this side. Now that'll make it to where I can just step straight down into that shop and be in the concrete area and have more space for the anvils, the forge, a bigger workbench. That's going to be absolutely awesome. Like I said, I'm going to bring you all along for the process, but I will tell you this. I'm going to give you all a little uh, channel sponsorship speech again. So the last time I did this on the last Shop Talk Tuesday and I told you all I don't have channel sponsors, the channel sponsor for this channel is myself. It is my website, theriversexperience.com. Link for it in the description below. Now, last week, y'all went on there and helped out a ton. Y'all purchased shirts, y'all got mugs, y'all got all kinds of different stuff, and I am super thankful for that. So please keep doing that. You know, I've got knives on there for sale that are YouTube builds. You can actually show your friends how that knife was made, which you typically cannot do if you go and purchase a knife from somewhere. You might be able to see pictures of the process, 
but the knives that I sell on my website have YouTube series dedicated to the actual build processes of them, which is a very unique thing that you don't really get that often. So definitely go check it out. Check out the knives. Check out the shirts. Check out the mugs. The mugs are absolutely awesome. And please just keep supporting the channel. You know, 100% of the proceeds from that website goes into this channel. My regular job pays the bills and all the stuff for everything else. But that website is what makes this channel possible. So guys, go over there, scoop you something up. Thank you all again for coming by. If y'all would, give the video a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there, and I'll catch y'all next time.